Okay, um, today we're going to learn how to get this really nice effect um, within these two uh, or couple of lines, so to speak, um, using a simple layer mask. Um, so open a new document, you should press Command O, and that'll bring it up. But um, Blue Peter Star, I've already got one up in a tab just here. Um, using Command Plus, you zoom in, Command Minus, zoom out, you can see how um, that I've already drawn some lines in here. Um, this is this back, uh, layer just here, layer zero, um, that is the original image. Um, however, if I just turn it off, I have two photos behind it. Um, using this, the eye, next to the shapes and photos and groups, whatever, um, turn it off, you can just click, or if you want to do various ones, you can just drag, hold down like that, and now see that they're all gone. Um, we want to join these two photos together, because you can see that they overlap. So we're going to use this mask, um, this mask is stationed just at the bottom next to effect and this little sign here where you can change loads of stuff really. Um, okay, to the mask, um, as you see here your colours would have changed, they would have gone to black and white, X to change both of them, you can see it in this corner as well. Um, right, so we want quite a large brush for this, you can right click anywhere on the page as long as it is on the actual canvas. Um, you can see that I've got those weird, weird looking brushes here. So if we scroll up, um, that's a very, that's a, that's a brush at the very hard edge. We want more of the soft edge like this one. Um, as you saw, that's tiny. That's going to take forever to do. So we're going to change the size here. Still quite small, so we can just press the square brackets next to P. Um, the one, uh, the one first away from P, out the square brackets. That one goes up. The one closest on the left goes down. So we want it quite big. Um, just pressing and holding down, we can get rid of the photo to make it look as if it was actually part of the but photo that's behind it. But as you can tell, um, you can see this all around here, just to exaggerate that for you. Pressing X, you can put it back on like that. Um, this is taking me a little bit longer because I've cha already changed my opacity to 42%. If I whack that up to 100, you can see how quickly that goes back on. And you still see the line there a little bit, so just take that off. Oh, it's gone back up there again. There we go, it looks like a seamless photo. Um, by using, click on the little I again, we can put this layer back on. This is on top of the other two photos, and on this we're also going to use a mask again. So, we've now put our mask on, but we've got nowhere where we want to kind of fill so to speak. So let's put those lines back on, just like so. Still on this layer, clicked on this layer, you can tell it's highlighted blue. Um, make sure that you're not on here, because so if you brush on here, it'll just go solid black like that. Pressing Command Z, just go back, gets rid of it straight away. So you'd be wanting to click onto this mask here, um, still on brush, um, white doesn't do anything. Press X, switch to black, gets, you can see the space background behind it. Um, right. Change brush, um, this is one I've downloaded off of Brush Easy as an ABR file. Really simple to use, really good. Um, so, by making the brush smaller again, like so, doing that. I like, to ch I like to mess around my brushes, I like to change the direction and everything. So by doing this, see the brush has changed again. If I make it really slim like that, the brush is really slim like that. Uh, so just to keep it at this angle, I think I'm just going to put that there like that. I'm going to use this, something similar. I think I'll probably use this one. Oh, too big again. Should make it smaller. Still too big. Oh, so you want that to be roughly. Yeah, that's fine. So, just put that, let's put it there. Now you see, that's kind of quite faint. If you click several times in the same area, it comes out a lot, a lot more vibrant you take it. It's like just taking more of the photo away to see more of what's behind it. So if we just press command plus, we can zoom in and out, we can see that that's really far out the lines. So by pressing X again, go and click into the white. Once we click on brush, which is B, um, X to change it, we can see that's back on there, so that's black. Press X, that's white. Right click, and just change to uh, probably this. Uh, soft brush, want to make it really big because we've got oh, 5,000 on that. Um, 
there we go, big enough, see, this is really soft, but as you can tell, that takes away a lot of the photo. So by doing Command Alt Z, we can go back several times. And actually, we're going to use a rough edge brush like that. As you can tell, no fading onto the actual parts you want to keep. So just by using a big brush, get as much of it as possible. But it's better to use a small brush. And um, once we get into the facial areas like this, we want to get really, really bit quite close to the lines, but not all the way there. Just like so. This can take a really long time, and for a bit of a perfectionist, it can take an extortionate amount of time. We're just going to do this really quickly, and again, making the brush smaller. Also, on this, you can change the, like I said before, you can change how thin the brush is. So just do that, change the angle of it. We've got a bit more of a bit more of a uh, side of a brush to use. Just do that. Because it's a different angle, we should change the brush again, like so. Oops, just gone up there. You press Command Z. Then you see that's all come back. That's why it's quite good to do quite a lot of smaller strokes like this. And pressing space and then holding that, as you tell, space is that. By pressing the mouse down, you can move around like that. Very easy tip to use. So now you can tell that most of that, most of that's gone away now. But we zoom out. Just here doesn't look right because our hair's there. So if we just zoom in, um, we can use quite a faded brush to begin with. Turn the opacity down on it. Just go like that. However, that looks that still looks very bad. So I'm just going to get rid of the majority away from the head here and the thick part of the hair where it gets thinner. Um, a default brush on Photoshop. This one here. Ah, see, the opacity is too high on that, so Command Alt Z, just go back, like that down to about 40. That looks a little bit better, still not perfect because it's only a demonstration. Um, just go a bit around here a little bit more. Still quite a few rough edges, but spend as long as you need to, and that's how you get that effect just there. Uh, thanks.